Thing. Order! Order! And you are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! I think Boris is a snake oil salesman who hasn't got any snake oil. And uh, at the, this period of silence on his behalf, I hope it stretches into years, so I rather welcome it. Because when he has broken his vow of silence, he said things which are wholly fantastical, such as, we will leave on the 31st of October, come what may. He doesn't have the numbers, and yet he says it. He then says, we'll withhold the payments that were due mm. to the European Union, even though that's bound to go into court Ooh. and would and would prevent her, him fulfilling the I mean, first I'd promise. I'd hate to sort of uh, disrupt the disunity, but Phil Collins, I remember, I read your articles every week. I think you're no, a great you columnist. Sure. But I remember ahead of the 2017 general election, you said that Labour were facing their worst defeat since 1931. Yes. And you were completely wrong about that. And as I don't think there was, actually. You were completely no, no, wrong. No, I, no, I, you I, said, no, I don't. You said, and I've got it here, actually, the Labour Party needs to brace itself for its worst result since Ramsay MacDonald split the party in 1931. And that was complete nonsense. You were well, completely wrong about that. And if you had the humility to, to, to say, this, to admit that well, you were wrong. No, it's very relevant because people like you make predictions all the time. All right, well, what's and wrong? And you've been falsified no, right, well, what, in the last right, three years, well, again let, and again. Let, and and as a constituent of mine said oh, yesterday, let forgive somebody me, else I, speak. No, it's, I, I know you're getting a bit riled, but it's true. You said something yeah, that was Quasi, completely false. You've got false. to let him answer. And um, a constituent of mine said to me, why do you listen to these people? Why do we listen to these people? They get things wrong Or are you blustering in order to resist answering difficult questions? On behalf of Boris specific. Johnson, Actually, that's, um, Phil. that's a really silly point. It's not a silly because, point. Because on, it would answer. be very easy, wouldn't it, for me to produce a whole series of other points where I was right, but it would be pathetic because none of those will be relevant to the future either. So it's a really very silly point. The question is not what Boris Johnson desires, but whether it is possible. What we need to hear from him, and which is why he does need to break his silence, we need to hear how his plan is feasible, given that if he wants to take Britain out of the European Union without a deal, the votes are not there in the House of Commons so, for it. So you've made a prediction. Why am no, I it's not a prediction? Hang question, no, are there, are the the votes, but First of all, are there votes in the House? So, At the moment as it stands, Amber Rudd, your senior Conservative colleague, has said equally that plan will never get through Parliament. So the reason why we had an extension, let's get back to the facts. The but just answer that question. No, is, are the numbers the reason, there, Quasi? They may not be there, but the right. reason why we, we didn't leave on the 29th of March was because the Prime Minister wrote a letter to Donald Tusk which asked for an extension. Now, what is very clear to me is that if Boris Johnson is the Prime Minister, he will not be uh, uh, writing a letter to Donald Tusk asking for ex an extension. Would he prorogue Parliament? And that's the basis... The, would he prorogue Parliament? I don't think he would, but that's the basis he? on which... That's the basis on which the extension happened. Right. Prime Minister, you still haven't answered my question Minister, about the numbers. You said they may, but you said they may not be there, and that is important, isn't it? If you are standing on a platform, as Boris Johnson mm. and others are, saying that actually we will go for no deal if we haven't managed to agree something that is palatable to Parliament and to the government, um, and the numbers aren't there, then you will have a general. But I'm election. making a very specific point about how. The extension happened. The extension happened not because yeah. Parliament voted for it. The but, but, extension but happened quasi, that because the Prime Minister, vote? Phil, but no, the but Prime Minister. Sorry, yeah, we, we understand. We understand the, the, the point. Prime we Minister do. wrote the letter. No, we we understand the yeah, point. And you've made it. The Prime Minister we, doesn't write the letter. Then we come out. I know. We got it first uh, time. Uh, wait, we got it first I, 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 time. Do you disagree to, with that? No, I hate to jump in here, but sure. um, as a voter and a citizen of this country who's very interested in what the future of this country is going to be, mm. like, I want to ask you a very simple question, which is how is no deal going to happen if Boris Johnson isn't going to prorogue Parliament, if there aren't the numbers in Parliament to support a no deal, which is what we've seen uh, earlier this summer? Simply, how are you going to do it so that's without what it either going to a general election or a second round? So referendum? that's what I've tried to say uh, about three times, and Phil got the uh, point, he claims. So yeah, well, the, and the, po the point was, the reason why we got the extension was because the Prime Minister, Theresa May, wrote to Donald Tusk asking for an extension. But that's what happened. But okay. you're answering that's a what happened. question. You are. And, you're answering and, and, a question and, and, about the And I'm saying that's the you, no, you asked me about how no deal Ash, happens. Ash, Ash and Quasi, don't talk over each other because we want but to hear what you both got to say. You are, but you are, you are cutting across everybody else. So just allow people to finish and then everyone can hear. And let's try and stick to the substance and not make it so personal. Um, now, <clears throat> it's not the personalities of those involved. It's the fact that we have a hung parliament. So it's therefore very, very difficult to do anything irrespective. And that's the problem that Boris Johnson confronts. I understand he won't seek an extension. He won't. That much is clear. And that was no, what no, made I, I, it I, but, but therefore it follows then 
that the mechanism by which Parliament will try to stop him will be to lay a vote of no confidence in his government. And now that we know he won't seek that extension, that vote of no confidence can come quite early. And if it happens and he doesn't rule out not taking us out with no deal, he will lose the vote of confidence. And that is the practical question he needs to address. Can I come back to that? Yes. So you've made a prediction. Uh, and I'm questioning your prediction. And the reason why I referred to your earlier prediction, which was completely wrong, was that you have made predictions about... Right, but you've said that. But you've said that. Let's not repeat that. No, I'd rather... Pe no, I'd rather go on to the substance, actually, yeah, so because you've, ma you've made that point. So because, I actually, where, think... no, where a hung parliament may also prove very difficult for Boris Johnson isn't just on the issue of Brexit. I've been